Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make chocolate charlotte cake. For the ingredients, we need half a cup of sugar plus one tablespoon, 25 ml of milk, one third cup of cake flour plus one tablespoon, 20 grams of cocoa powder, I use Dutch process, 20 grams of butter and three eggs. Combine the milk and the butter melt and then set aside combine the flour and the cocoa powder mix and set aside as well so crack three eggs add the sugar and then this is an optional step this is hot water and then i put in the bowl this will just help the um, eggs to be at room temperature and when the eggs is at room temperature um, it creates more volume and we're gonna beat the eggs and sugar until it doubles in volume and it's light pale yellow we're gonna beat it until it is in ribbon stage which is like this and now we're gonna sift in the cocoa powder flour mixture Sorry about the noise, my voice is here. It's cool holidays at the moment. So now we're sifting the flour and cocoa powder. Now I'm just gonna beat this quickly, if just for one or two seconds. And then I'm gonna continue mixing using the folding method. Don't overmix or else the eggs will deflate. Now gently pour the um, milk and butter mixture. Again, do not overmix. And then um, this is now ready to be baked. I line with my baking pan with parchment paper on the side and at the bottom. This is. 8 inch round cake pan and then we're gonna bake this in a preheated oven at 170 degrees celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes or until when you insert a skewer in the middle and the skewer comes out clean and this is what it looks like after baking now once it cooled down i cut the cake in half and then i've got a um, spring form pan here i will line this with cling wrap so when we done making the cake it's easier to um take it out of the spring form pan now I'm gonna put a cake board in here which is 8 inch as well and now I'm gonna put the bottom of the cake in here and now I just kind of measure how much space does the sponge finger need because it, ne it needs to um, stand flat against the wall of the um, springform pan. So my cake is too big. I'm trimming it so the sponge finger will fit tightly. That's good. So now we're gonna cut the sponge finger so the bottom is straight. So I'm using one as a guide so they're all equal in size but it doesn't have to be perfect. So this is now ready. We're gonna line the sides of the um, spring form pan with the sponge finger all the way around and once you reach the end of the um, ring if it doesn't fit just trim down the sponge finger just like so and now we will set this aside and we're gonna move on to the filling
I'm using the mousse recipe for this because for me it's so much nicer but you can use just cream and the chocolate if you want to so that's half a cup of sugar three egg yolks 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate one and a half cups of cream plus one and a half cups of cream to begin we're gonna um combine the one and a half cup of cream with the 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate or for me i use dark chocolate which is 40 um, percent cocoa solids so now um i've melted the cream and the chocolate if it doesn't melt fully put it back in the microwave until the chocolate is fully dissolved just like this we will set this aside now we're gonna combine the sugar and the water we're gonna bring this to a boil while the sugar is boiling I'm beating the egg yolk so I'm boiling my sugar here until it reaches 250 degrees Fahrenheit if you don't have a thermometer it's about seven to eight minutes so now I'm slowly um, adding the sugar syrup into the egg yolks while whisking continuously so the egg yolks don't curdle. This will cook the egg yolks so it's safe to consume. Once the sugar syrup is all in, we're gonna continue beating the egg yolks until it is light pale yellow, just like this. And now we're gonna combine the egg yolks to the ganache. And then I just kind of mix this. I'm using the folding method. And now we will set this aside. We're gonna beat the cream this is one and a half cream until it forms um, peaks just like this and now we're gonna fold in the cream with the ganache egg yolk mixture again using the folding method And this is now ready. We're gonna pour half of the um, mousse inside and then we're gonna get the half part of the cake which I trim as well to fit in here. And then I'm gonna pour the rest of the mousse on top. And now we're just gonna let this set in the fridge for about four to six hours, but best overnight. So for me, I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge overnight. The next morning, I've got 100 grams of dark bacon chocolate and 50 ml of um, cream. So I'm just gonna melt this in the microwave. I'll be the first one to admit that my um, ganache here is a little bit onto the overcooked one that's why it loses the glossiness but it still works so i'm gonna pour the ganache on top of the um chocolate charlotte cake So I'm just gonna um, move the ganache around until it covers the top of the cake. And now I'm, this is Maltesers optional, just for decorations. So I'm putting it um, between the sponge fingers. So it's e when we cut it, it's easier. 
Now we're gonna um, release the spring form pan. Lift the cake to remove the base of the spring form pan. And that's how easy it is. And now. And this is the finished product. I hope you give them a try. This is so easy. You know, you can make this a no-bake dessert. Like you can use the sponge finger to put at the bottom if you don't want to bake. You can put um, a ribbon just to decorate the side of the um, Charlotte cake. And then just to show you what it looks like inside when you cut the cake. I know I said cake too many times. The first cut is always the hardest to take out, but after that, it's a breeze. This is so good, I can guarantee you that. So I hope you give them a try. This is so easy to make. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next week. Bye!